Hey friends, Cherie here from Cherie's Alchemy and I'm back today with a pattern haul, a big pattern haul. If you watched my last couple videos, then you saw that I was um, doing a 60 day no buy challenge. Um, and I'm really excited to say that I lasted the 60 days. I didn't buy any fabric and I didn't buy any patterns. I didn't even think I bought any notions. I don't think I bought anything for 60 days. Um, when the 60 day mark was up, uh, I did, I went a little bit beyond the 60 days, like an extra week. I did um, place a notions order. I did that online um, to avoid any kind of temptation of buying anything else. And I was going to extend the no buy for the patterns, but there were so many cute new patterns that came out for a summer um, that I just, I couldn't resist. So I did hit some of the pattern sales that just happened recently at Joann's. And then what else? That's it. I bought some notions, which I'm going to do a separate haul on. Um, cause I'm excited with what came in. It was my first time really buying like a big stock up of notions online. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to share the patterns today. I've decided to extend my fabric no buy. So I'm going another 60 days beyond my cutoff day, which I think was June 14th or something like that. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going, I'm doing another 60 days of no fabric buying because I still have some really awesome fabrics to work through. And then I'm actually using some of the fabrics from my store, uh, to make samples and the samples are going to be my size. So it, that's kind of cheating. And then I have, um, I'll be making my selection for my next Fabricista. So, I mean, that's kind of fabric shopping, but I'm not spending any money on that. And then I want two giveaways, but I haven't received either of them yet. So if I ever receive my gift voucher and my um, six yard cut of fabric, I will share those with you guys here. Uh, so anyway, let's get to the patterns. I'm very excited. I've actually already started pulling some more fabrics. I still have to work through my last round of fabric that I pulled. I have, I think, two more pieces to work on there. Um, but I got to get through those because some of the stuff is really super summery. And we are in the middle of a very hot summer here in Minnesota. Um, and I've actually, I've been in the garden. I've been working so hard in my garden. If you guys have not checked out my gardening channel yet, I'll put a link in the description box. I know that you guys have been, uh, some of you have been having trouble finding it in the search. I'm gonna start tagging my videos with my name, but I'll put the link in the description box um, in case you guys are into flowers and vegetable gardening. I expanded my garden. I've added 14 fruit trees, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, and on top of all the vegetables and herbs that I grow. Um, I have a new greenhouse um, that will stay outside 24 hours, 24-7. Uh, um, we got that anchored into the ground. I still have to build some. I'm going to actually build a couple raised beds inside of it. Um, and I'm going to try and extend my season even more. But anyway, I'm getting all like diverged. Look in the description box if you're into gardening and you want to go follow me over there because that's where I've been like almost daily posting uh, over there at least a few times a week. It's been really fun. So let me just start. I'm going to start with um, this magazine, this pattern magazine. I mentioned a while ago that in December I treated myself to um, a subscription to Fiber Mood. Um, I have the mag I have the magazine come to me and I have the digital um, subscription as well. It's like a combo pack. And so I get to pick five digital patterns that I'll get as PDFs. And then I have the whole magazine in case I want to buy more. So um, issue 14 came too since the last video. But this issue 15 actually just came today. And so um, I've actually already selected the five patterns that I'm going to select uh, to download. I'll show you the first two things that I want to make because they are just <gasps> adorable. The first one is this dress. Look at that. And I'm actually going to try and use yellow linen. I love that. 
This one is called the Vicky dress. And I love that um, skirt detail there. And then the next one that I plan to print out is May. This is just like a summer. You want to feel like you're in a muumuu, but it's not a muumuu. It's like a modern muumuu. And honestly, I've been running around in dresses like this, um, even in the garden, because again, they're just super comfortable, airy and light, but with pretty fabric, you know, you still look pretty cute. Like I threw on a, um, a really pretty printed t-shirt dress uh, two days ago and it was so cute. My husband was like, oh my God, you look gorgeous. And it's so funny. It was like a, it was, I mean, a no iron just throw on, but it was that print that just, you know, kind of elevated it. He thought I was like getting ready to go out. And I'm like, I'm just going out in the garden and take some pictures. Um, so I'm all about those kind of dresses uh, right now in the summer, especially because it's been so hot. And I don't know, I'm still like in my dress mood. But I'll have to do a separate review of Fiber Mood. Even this one, I mean, this book is full of just really cute and easy summer dresses. So I picked my five. I'm going to actually be printing those out later and start taping those together because I really want to get those uh, cut out. I'm going to do another big cutout session so I can sit and sew. I'm going to dedicate like two days to just sewing um, because I've been wearing a hole in the new dresses that I've made. This is another dress that I made. I share this on Instagram on the mannequin. I'll have to do a review on this because this is awesome. And this dress has pockets, y'all. Like it's so cute. I have to do it. I'll share that. Anyway, I'm, get, I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry. Let me get back. I'm seven minutes in and I haven't shown any patterns. Okay. The next, let's, I'm going to start with C and so. Again, this is on the like cute print, easy peasy. This is a peasant style dress. I like the shorter length. I like the longer length. This dress calls for, this pattern calls for a chalet crepe gauze, even cotton knits. So really versatile fabric options. I'm probably going to make a few in knits and some in some cottons. This is uh, B6540, which I think means that it used to be a Butterick pattern. But yeah, I love it belted. It's just, um, this is one of those patterns for a couple bucks that's going into my pattern collection. Okay, now I'm going to go to, let's do new look next. I always like the new look patterns too somehow. Um, very affordable. I like that you get a lot of options. I like all of these pieces. This is just a great basic knit pattern. You get long sleeve, short sleeve. You get uh, two skirts. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with something like this. This is N6646. This pattern is for stretch knits only. So your rib knits, bamboo, ITY, interlocks, jerseys. And the pattern range on this one is from an eight to a 20. And I always have to go by the hip measurement for me. So here it's saying for the size 20, the hip is a uh, 44. So that's what I'll need to make. Next, N6650, again, you've seen this before. Like, it's just a basic t-shirt dress. I like this one because it does have the princess seams for shaping. It's also for knits. But because of my body proportions, like, sometimes the top can look super loose and then it looks more fitted in the hip. So I like this princess seam because I can have a little bit more shaping in there. Um because my waist is, you know, it's the smallest part. So I like to show that a little bit. I don't know if I would do the tie thing. Like, I think if you're super slender, that looks cute, but I'm not sure how that would look on me. That's one of those things where I would probably make a sash instead of this tie. Because I feel like I would, like if it goes all the way around, I kind of like that. But if it's just like tied in the front, I don't know. It's like you have a sweater around your waist, but you don't have a sweater. I'm not into that. 
But anyway, I'm into this pattern. Super cute. You know that's going to come together easily. It's like your front, your back, sleeves, and then your optional ties. This one the uh, goes up to a 22. So it says size 10 to 22. And that uh, highest, the largest hip measurement on this one is a 46. So I'll show you the line drawings real quick. Easy peasy summer dress. Here's another super easy. Again, you get the dress, you get a top. You get pants, which you could cut in two lengths, and then you have this kind of shawl. I want to make this whole collection in linen. Fabric suggestions on this are batiks, chambray, cotton lawns, cotton types, lightweight linens, floss, silky types. This is a great pattern for summer woven fabrics. Lightweight, airy, easy breezy. I want to make all these pieces. This would be like a really cute mix and match little collection. You could probably cut that dress off and turn that into a skirt. Yeah, I'm digging that. So this is New Look N6517. I did not show you the line drawings. Let's do that real quick. So yeah, cute, 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 cute. The next one, I'm still digging the shirt dress look. So this is N6651, I like all the views. I like the elastic at the waist. I feel like that would be comfortable. You could easily jazz it up by putting a belt on there. You can make a fabric sash, but it's just cute, right? Look at that, whoops, upside down. You could even turn this into a shirt if you want it, like a little peplum shirt, cute. Fabric options on here, again, these are for wovens. So linens, chinos, Cottons, poplins, shirting, gingham. That would be a cute gingham shirt dress. Yeah. Ooh, I might have to look for some ginghams. This one goes from a 10 to 22. So that hip measurement on the largest size is a 46. The bust is a 44. So yeah, loving that. Next one, I have, well, you saw my last uh, video or two videos ago, I showed you a little t-shirt dress pattern, which was another big new look pattern. I like this one because it kind of flares out a little bit more. It does have a seam down the back, which I would probably skip. I don't like having seams down the back. I would rather cut this on the fold and put princess seams in for shaping in the back. But I thought this was just really flattering with a little bit more flouncy uh, bottom, a little bit fuller skirt. And again, all the sleeve options, all the lengths are just wonderful. These are for knits. So again, your jerseys. Stretch velvet. Mm, for winter, that long sleeve with stretch velvet would be cute. So I like that. This is another one that goes up to a 22. So that largest hip measurement is a 46. Largest bust is 44 inches. The final new look pattern, I'm looking forward to using this in the fall. This is for all the flannels, all the little teddy bear fabrics. Super easy, no closure, little jacket. This goes from an extra small, which is a 6'8", with a waist of a 23 to 24, hips of 32 to 33, up to an XL, which is a 22 to 24, bust 44 to 46, hips, 46 to 48. Not a lot of seaming. I love the hood. I mean, it's like running around outside with a robe on. <laughs> you know that's gonna be cozy, right? So again, love all the views. I think if you're, this would be a great first like coat, like foray into coat patterns, right? There's not a lot going on, but you pick a really cool fabric and you'll have you can make a pretty high-end looking coat with this pattern. This is New Look 6585. Quick look at the back. You can see there's not even a seam down the back. The raglan sleeves. This is cute. And let's see which fabrics they're suggesting. Cause I'm looking at this like you could even use a, like a stable knit. So this is saying double-faced 
or reversible fabrics only. Okay, because you see the inside of the fabric. So they're looking for a double face fleece, wools, fleeces, ponties. Ponties, stable knit. Yeah, this is this is just cute. So again, that is new look 6585 for your fall winter wardrobe. All right. And you know what? If you live in a, a warmer climate, I would dry linen. I think this would be a cute in a linen or like a lightweight cotton flannel. That would be cute too. Yeah. Okay, next I'm gonna do butter. Butter. Some of these were things that my store didn't have, like that last, last butter haul that I had. Some of these had come out, but for some reason my store hadn't had them in the case yet. And then some of these I think are newer. I can't remember, but I got them during the sale. So the first one is Butterick. Well, mm, I pulled these from the display. You know how they don't put the late, they don't put the numbers on those for some reason. I think that's so weird. Anyway, this is Butterick 6821. 6821. This has two different skirts, two different jackets, and you know. So anyway, love this though. And this pattern, I got the higher end range because I think for the top, I'll probably have to make an 18. And then for the bottom, I might have to make a 20 according to these pattern measurements. But I, it's easier for me sometimes to cut down with things like this that have so much shaping. If it's something that doesn't have a lot of shaping, it's easy for me to like grade out of my hips. But when it has stuff like this that has shaping detail around the hip, I'd rather have it bigger and then grade it in so that I'm not messing up any of the, the lines for draping. So yeah, I really like that. This is just a, again, I would live in these kind of dresses during the summer and fall with the sleeves, honestly. I feel like in winter, this, this would be cute with tall boots too. So this is Butterick. Six, eight, zero, six. And I have to start checking these in the store. The last uh, pattern haul that I did, I went to pull out one of the patterns to sew up and it didn't have the instruction booklet inside. Now, I was able to figure it out, but I'm thinking like, geez, did somebody just take it or they forget to put it in there? Anyway, here's another like, I don't know, this is like a faux shirt dress, right? It has that shaping of a shirt dress, but no buttons. And I just, I like both views. I like the double flounce one. I would love that instead of doing the double flounce, doing the longer skirt and then putting a ruffle. Yeah, endless options. And this would be cute cut off and having it be like a shirt also. This is a for woven fabrics and you need some elastic. And this is one of those patterns that goes from a size eight all the way up to a 24W. So good size range there. Next, I kind of want to make myself a romper. I don't know if I would wear it outside because I don't wear shorts like out like that unless I'm on vacation. But I also really love the red dress. And this is one, it wraps across the back and then ties in the front. I think that's a really cute and flattering detail. So this is also calling for woven fabrics, linens, cotton blends, crepes, and rayons. This does call for a lining, an invisible zipper in the back. And this is Butterick 6760. So I don't know, I think that's like a cute and fresh little look. Next, I have Butterick 6679. Just great summer dresses, right? I mean, all the lengths are cute. I love how this shorter length kind of flares out. Here are the line drawings on the back. Super simple. This is one that's calling for um, stretch knit fabrics, your jerseys, your rayon knits, things like that. Size ranges from a 6 to a 22. And no closures. It just pulls over the head. You have some elastic shearing going on in the bodice. 
And yeah, it's just cute. Next one, another cute summer dress. This one is actually uh, for wovens, similar kind of flair. It has pockets, which we all love. And it has that separate sash, which I like. Because like for a dress like this, right, you want to see that little chevron that's formed when, by using the stripes and cutting it that way. But like with the floor and the solid, like a big tie on the side, it's kind of cute. You make it an all black. Sometimes you want the tie, sometimes not, right? And so this one goes from a 6 to 22 also. It is... Let me see. Yeah, invisible zipper, close-fitted bodice, and yes, side seam pockets. So I like that. I thought it was cute. Line drawings on the back. Ooh, I think I just got my makeup on her. Anyway, next. I love Lisette's patterns for butter. It always has interesting details. This is a pretty, pretty summer dress. This is a B6661. And look at the back, y'all. I love the crisscrossing at the back. I think that this, I love also how you could do it with the stripes and play with that top. Love it in a solid. This one is calling for woven fabrics, linen, broadcloth, crepes, as well as cotton blends. Size range is also six to 22. The closures, you have an invisible zipper and you need some elastic. You see those pockets? This is just cute. I love this. Next one. This is up. Oh, there we go again. Butterick 6809. And again, very cute dress. Great for summer, extending into fall, again in spring. If you live in a warm climate, I mean, you can wear this all year long, right? This is in sizes six through 22. You need a zipper, invisible zipper. You need a buckle if you're making the little belt, some buttons, and it's calling for woven fabric. So cottons, linens, poplins, crepes. There's the back, line drawings. And it's just, it's just a cute dress. And the final one. This is Butterick 6759. I thought this was a top and a skirt, but this is actually a dress. I would probably not make it in the contrast like that. I would probably make it in a solid or all in a print. But I think that's kind of cute to make it look like a two-piece when it's not. For me, it's like, if it, like I'd rather have a two-piece than have something that looks like a two-piece. You know what I mean? Because then I can use the two pieces separately. But I love both of these. Again, woven fabrics, your linens, your cotton blends. You need some buttons. You need zipper and uh, a buckle if you are making the belt. And yeah, this goes from a 6 to a 22. I'll show you the line drawing on the back where you can see this is actually a dress and not two separate pieces. So yeah, very, very cute. Okay, let's move on now to Vogue patterns. This is because I'm dreaming of vacation. <laughs> I love this dress and it's, I don't know. It's just, I just think this is so flattering. That V is, that, that front is like very low. I would probably have to modify it, but who knows? I'm feeling a little bit bolder. Maybe I would make it like that. Anyway, this is calling for um, crepes, rayon chalets, lightweight um, broadcloth, fitted dress is unlined, and this is Vogue 9343. Size range from a six up to a 22. Here are the line drawings. You need an invisible zipper for this, but it's a very easy, very Vogue. Like this is gonna go together. Outside of putting the zipper in, it's gonna be super easy. Next we have 
These are all ones where I'm gonna have to pull out the sleeve. So this is Vogue 1773. To be quite honest, I was drawn to this because of the color. And as I looked at it more and I looked at the line drawing, these actually have very interesting lines. Like look at the lines on the dress. So yes, yeah, a solid color dress, but I think that could be a, like an interesting sewing challenge for me. So I'm digging that. And same thing, I like the asymmetry of this kind of shawl jacket. And so it's very like J. Jill for me, you know? I like that. And I like this monotone look also. If I could find that color, I would make like, I would replicate exactly that. I love this. So this is calling for wool crepes, ponties, wool flannels. It's lined. You're going to need um, an invisible zipper and a hook and eye closure for that dress. And this goes from an eight up to a 22. And yeah, just one more time, the line drawings. Like, they're kind of basic looking, but very interesting. So I love that. This dress, you know, I mean, again, it's basic, but interesting. And I feel like this is like, this is like the modern elevated moo moo, right? Has some pockets in there, um, those interesting pleating. And so this is also calling for crepes, wool flannels, lightweight denims. Um, it is lined and it's just pull over the head, but it has those cute pockets, that shirt collar detail. It's just cute. And the size ranges from a four to a 26. Let me see how much fabric. If you're only using a 44 inch wide fabric, you need a little under five yards. So it's gonna use some fabric. If you, if you find a 60 inch wide fabric, which most of these kinds of fabrics that it's calling for do come 60 inches wide, you need three and a half yards of fabric. So that's not too bad. And I love the idea of a lightweight linen now that I read that, like a chambray kind of coloring. That would be cute. That's what I'm gonna look for. And I love that, again, it has all those details, but no closure. So this should come together pretty easily. Did I say the number? I don't think I pulled it out yet. This is Vogue 1777. I think I did pull it out. Okay. Next, I want to continue my suit kick this fall. And I and I also am supposed to be making jumpsuits this year. So that's why I grabbed this one. It looks like a suit, but it's a jumpsuit. This is going to be an experimental kind of look for me. I don't know if this is going to be flattering. But I, I don't know. Something about this all white look like struck me. And so this is Vogue 1790. Line drawings. And it goes from a size eight to a 24. It's calling for woven fabrics, silks, broadcloths, lightweight crepes, rayon blends, um, like a nice suiting, like a rayon suiting. Would be so nice. It's it's interfacing. You'll need interfacing, you need an invisible zipper, hook and eye closure, shoulder pads. It's calling for shoulder pads. And I think I said invisible zipper. Yeah, so that would be an interesting little, you know, I'm gonna give this a try. I feel like worst case, if I make it and I don't love it, I could turn the bottom part into some pants. <laughs> so. Here's another pretty summer dress. I love the front, especially. The back, this is one where instead of doing those um, ties attached to the side, I would make a full sash so that it goes all the way around. Cause I just don't like that look of like looking like a package or something. Um, this is Vogue 1795. Also calling for wovens. Seersucker, linen, chalets, and broadcloths are the suggestions. You'll need your zipper, hook and eye, 
and some bias tape and some buttons. And let's see here. I'll show you the line drawings. So I just, I think this is a cute little summer dress. Basically it just has sleeve variations, um, which I'm surprised they don't show because they're a very interesting kind of puff sleeve variations. You see that? So yeah. Loving that. Next one. This shirt, I like everything about this shirt except for the shirt tail. Like I would probably make this straight, but I love all of this going on and the tie. So I think that could be interesting. Um, this is Vogue 1789. I'm sorry. This is Vogue 1786. And it goes from size 4 through 22. It's calling for cotton shirting, linen, and poplin. And your, your notions, you're going to need some buttons and some interfacing. Yeah, that's it. So I think that would be cute. But again, I feel like for, for my body type, having all this volume in the sleeves and everywhere else and then having that um, asymmetrical shirt tail could just be a lot. So that is Vogue 1786. Next up. This is Vogue, this is Vogue 1780. And I like both of these dresses. I, um, yeah, I just think they would be flattering, like a universally flattering dress. Goes from size four to 26. Fabrics calling for crepe, silk twill, poplin, lightweight linen. You're going to need some buttons and a hook and eye closure and some bias tape. Here are the line drawings in the back. So again, it just, it has just an interesting detail at the front here to create that drape in the front. And I know, I mean, I kind of like that, that asymmetrical hemline also. So we shall see. Next, we have Vogue. This is 1781. And again, I like both of these. I love both of these, actually. These are calling for lightweight denims, ponties, ponty knits, so stable knits. Ooh, that opens some doors. Sateens and linen. Size range from an 8 to a 24. Here are the line drawings in the back. And I just, I love them both. I mean, look at that. This is one, I don't usually dig all this kind of contrasting, but this is one where I do. Like, I like how it makes it look retro, but it still looks modern. Very, very cute. So that was my last Vogue pattern. Now let's move on to McCall's. All right. I got a lot of McCall's patterns. I think these were 99 cents for that sale. So, first one. This is M8217. I actually got this for my daughter. She's heading back to college, and I'm just going to whip her up a bunch of these and all the different styles. Little tops for her to hang out because it'll still be um, hot down in Georgia for a while, and so I just want her to have some things in her wardrobe from me. Next, we have M8202. This one's from me. I love a square neckline. I'm gonna make all of these, and I also feel like this would be a very easy one and very cute one to just extend into a dress. So I plan on trying that also. Look at how cute. This one's calling for, oh, I forgot to tell you the fabric for this one is uh, wovens, ginghams, gauze, uh, cotton blends, and shamus. This one is also calling for woven fabrics, dotted Swiss, polished cotton, lawns, and gauze. Very cute. 
I've actually already cut these out and pulled some fabrics. These will be the first two that I sew into. Next up, I mean, look at the summer dress. M8193. I got to make this. This is also calling for cotton blends, poplin, chambray linens. Love it. Size range from 6 to 24. And you just need some buttons. You need buttons and some elastic. Super cute. Show the line drawings. Back. Next, McCall's. This is M7946. I want to play with some shearing. So yeah, just cute. This is calling for eyelet, cotton blends, lawn, and crepe. Goes in size ranges from a four to a 20. I love all the styles. And yeah, gotta make that before summer ends. Next, McCall's 8213. Again, easy, gorgeous summer dress, cotton blends, dotted Swiss, poplins, and crepes. You need some elastic for this. That's it. Size range from an extra small, which is a four to six, to an XXL, which is a 24, 26. Look at that. Easy. We all need to be making these this summer, I think. Next, because I'm supposed to be making jumpsuits. This is McCall's 8216. This is a jumpsuit I would wear, I feel like. It's calling for knit, so you know it's going to be comfortable. But you can also, um, yeah, jerseys, interlock, cotton blend knits. You need elastic, that's it. Size range from 6 to 24. I'm going to move this up to Q because I need to make a jumpsuit just to see how I'm feeling about myself in jumpsuits. There you go. Cute, cute. I grabbed another one of these. I've made this dress seven times. If you have not made Brim McCall's, I think you should. This is M8038. I think this came out last year. It was one of the Sew Your View challenges. That's why I sewed it. And I love it. I've made it so many different ways. I need to do a review on this one to show you guys the six or seven that I've made with this pattern. So this is just replacing this pattern because I've worn it out. And you can see the line drawings. So I bought it again and I plan to trace it because I know that I'm going to make this another zillion times. This is one of those dress uh, patterns that you could just hack so much. And it calls for wovens, crepes, chalets, georgettes. But I've actually made four of them using knits. And I, I actually prefer it in a knit. Super comfortable. It's like a t-shirt dress with some shaping. Speaking of t-shirt dresses, <laughs> M8065. This is a tank dress, but the reason why I got this, again, it flares out a little bit more than the one I already had. And I like the color blocking. And so they color blocked it with a plaid here, but I thought color blocking with a print could be kind of cute. So this comes in sizes four through 26 and this one is for, oh, that was the other thing. The other dress pattern that I have for this is for knits. This one's actually for wovens. So this one is for cotton blends, crepes, ginghams, and shamus. And I don't have a t-shirt dress that is for woven. So that's why I picked this one up. And yeah, you don't, there are no notions other than some fusible interfacing. No closures, pull over the head, love it. Next, the sleeve variations is what got me on this one. This is McCall's 8192. I love this dress and I love all the sleeve variations. I also like that it actually has the back out, which I don't usually do, but I'm also trying to do things that I don't usually do. So I thought that could be like really pretty. So this is calling for woven fabrics again. Cotton blends, linen, gauze, and lightweight denims. Size range from six to 24. 
Next up, McCall's 8211. Again, love all the versions. This is also for wovens, but it does require some closures. So it's an invisible zipper and you need some elastic. Size range on this one is from an eight to a 32W. So very generously sized. Here's the back with the line drawing. This is one that's very easy to just lengthen also. Like I love the look of this, but down to like this length, mm, I think that's what I'm gonna do first. But I love this, I, again, super flattering. And you can see here, I've gotten a lot of summer dress patterns that use woven fabrics because I have so many woven summer prints and I want all the dresses. So, continuing in that vein, this is McCall's 8214. I'm digging the tears. I'm loving this contrast. I have another patchwork fabric that I think I might use after that last patchwork dress I made. I'm just, I'm digging that look. This is calling for cotton blends, poplins, ginghams, and crepes. You will need some bias fold tape and some lace trim for some of the options and then some elastic. Size range from four to 26 and I'm in love. This one has like a drop waist um, look. I love the drop waist with the tears. Yeah, cute. Feels like you're wearing a t-shirt, but a little elevated. And then the final one. Again, look at how classy this is, but super easy and comfortable, right? Now this one is for knits, two-way stretch knits. You need a 50% stretch jersey, interlock, and cotton blend knits. You will need some elastic. And then this size range is from an eight to a 32W. Very generous. Size range, I mean, line drawings in the back. I think this is a flattering length. I also like length C and A, which look like they're a little bit longer. I love that it has the sash, but you can also use, you know, like a woven leather belt with some espadrilles would be super cute. Yeah, so I'm in love with that. Final, final stack of patterns, simplicity. More dresses. <laughs> this one is Simplicity, where's the number? Simplicity 9324. This is just like, so cute. Look at the back. It has the opening, it has the buttons. I just love the details and the femininity of this dress. And I see this in like solid linens. I see it in pretty prints. This is calling for woven fabrics, gingham, linen, blends, poplins, seersucker. Seersucker would be super cute. And for your notions, you just need buttons. I love that. And then I say signs range from a six to a 22. Next, we have These are like hiding the numbers from us. This is Simplicity 9326. Cute, cute, cute. Love the little ruffle at the neckline. This one is calling for wovens again, chamoose, rayon, silky type fabrics, cotton blends, linen, sateens, piquets. You're gonna need an 18 inch invisible zipper. I love all the views, love all the views. You dress it up based on the fabric you use, darling. Line drawing on the back, zipper down the back, just cute. And this goes from a size range of a six up to a 22. Another pretty, pretty one. <gasps> Look at this, guys. This kind of reminds me of the dress that I'm wearing. This is Simplicity. This is Simplicity 9327. Look at how sweet that is. This is very similar to the dress that I have on. And what I like about this one is the sleeve um, 
it looks a little bit more flouncy, like, it, you know, more like a, like a ruffly. And I like that it has more of the princess seeming in here for shaping. Let's see here. Calling for wovens, cotton blends, linen, silky types. Size range is a 6 to a 22. And you will need a zipper and a hook and eye. The bodice is lined. You'll need some interfacing. I love this. I love all of yours. Okay. Next, remember how I said I don't wear shorts? I'll, I might make these shorts, but I really got this for the skirt. I love a wrap skirt, and I just thought that was cute. I haven't worn a skirt <laughs> in over like 25 years, but I don't know. I think that's kind of cute and modern looking. In a linen, got to try some new stuff, right? So this is, let's see. Let me even pull the thing out. This is Simplicity 9335. And the size range is from a 6 to a 22. Calling for wovens, linens, sateens, tensils, um, lightweight twills, lightweight denim, poplin, and you will need elastic. That's it. This is gonna be up on the queue. I'm gonna put that aside. My last two. Mimi G's patterns are what always draw me in to say, okay, let's go to the pattern sale. So I picked up her two uh, latest dresses. This is Simplicity 9330. And look at that. I mean, she just always picks the right fabric, right? That just sucks you in. I mean, the print on this. This might be on her website on melanatedfabrics.com. I'm not sure. I, I have been like avoiding anything that would lead me to like fabric shopping, but I have to go and check this out. I love the colors on this. This is um, calling for crepe fabric, rayon, silky types, soft cotton, tinsel, and velvet, which I think that is. She's wearing that, right? That is so cute. This goes in sizes 6 through 24. You'll need an invisible zipper and some boning. Ooh, some boning. That's why that looks so good. I have not put boning in. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to make this. I have to make this. This is so cute. This is Simplicity 9330. Okay, and then the final one. I love the sleeve and the bodice on this, but I would have to make this longer for my body. Um, and it's pretty short, and I think Mimi is kind of petite. Like, I'm five foot eight, so I think that would be very short on me if it's that short on her. And so this is Simplicity 9329. Does this have the finished dress length on here? Finished garment length. Oh, it's not. Oh, it has two lengths. That's what it is. So view A is 41 and a half inches. View B is 37 and three quarter inches. Okay. So she may have just cut the shorter. I don't know. But anyway. I would lengthen that. When you see the line drawing, you really get the, like look at the, look at how beautiful that is. I love that. So this is Simplicity 9329, and it's one of Mimi G's latest patterns. Oh, and then I say, poplin, rayon, satin. I think gorgeous Ankara's like she picked here. Cotton Ankara's would be gorgeous. Taffeta, you'll need an invisible zipper and some elastic for this one. But that cinched at the waist and then the flare, that's just beautiful and flattering, right? So I had to end with those because they're two of my favorites. Let me know in the comments, did you make it to any of the pattern sales? Do you have any of these patterns? Have you sewn any of them yet? 
Uh, which ones would you like for me to review or sew up? Maybe do a sew along if there's anything that caught your eye. If you want any more details on anything, I didn't go through the breakthrough of all the like bust measurements and hip measurements on this one just because there were a lot of patterns and this video is already very long. But I'm excited. I went ham after my 60 day no buy with buying all these patterns. But the main reason why I did it is because as I was looking through the fabrics that I wanted to sew, really there are a lot of woven cottons. And I had a lot of really cute dress patterns that were like easy breezy wear, but they were for knits. And so 90% of what I bought are dress patterns for woven fabrics. So I'm excited to put these to use soon. Like I said, I've already cut out the two tops and then I'm just gonna keep moving through these. I will try to um, pick a few myself um, to do some reviews on, but I would love to hear from you guys if there's anything specific that you would like for me to review. Just let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, and I'll be back soon. I know I always say that, but I really am gonna try to be back soon. Remember, if you wanna see me more regularly and you like watching cooking, I'm putting cooking um, videos up there. I did one where I'm like, I showed you the before of my pantry because I'm trying to get my whole house like organized, like home edit style organized. And so I'm documenting that process over there. Right now it's mostly gardening and cooking. Um, I'm sharing like Costco hauls too as I build up my um, pantries in the house. So yeah, I'll leave the link in the description box if you're interested in that. Um, if you want a more detailed review of the Fiber Mood magazine, let me know. I can do that as well. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you back here on the channel soon. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in my content, please hit the subscribe button. Please like it if you liked it. If you didn't like it, be nice. Just, you know, move on. No, <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, I've enjoyed this time here. You know, you can see how excited I am about these new patterns, right? So I look forward to being back in this space to share with you guys soon. If you're interested in details of this dress that I'm wearing, um, let me know. Um, yeah. And we'll just, we'll go from there. I look forward to seeing you guys back here on YouTube again soon. Have a great day and I thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.